So let's take a quick look at the, the macro code. So if I go into my um, the Visual Basic element of Word, I'll show you how to access all of this um, in the next video or in the video after that, okay? Um, and I will give you this code so that all you need to do is just to install it and run it and then it'll just make your life a lot easier. Now, this is a, what we call a subroutine and uh, everything actually happens within kind of this and, and one other subroutine that it actually calls and it's very, very straightforward. Um, you might have heard this has been called a macro or something like that, okay? It's just, they're very, very safe. And um, I just wanna walk you through this and just kind of show you what's going on. Everything with this um, exclamation mark in front um, is, is what we call a comment. If the code doesn't actually run, it just explains what's going on. And as you can see here, then all these are comments and this is a comment and so on and so forth. Everything else which isn't commented out will run, okay? Now when we work with code, we, we have what are called variables. And variables are like values that we'll use every time, but then the actual, um, the value of that variable might change, okay? Like if you think of a file title, um, then you might change that title. Or as what I'm doing with my book of proof, every time I run that, I'm changing the variable of the, of the, the actual date and the time, okay? So this is what we, what we refer to as variables. And we give them strange names like my str here, which is like, just stands for my string and then file path, file title, and full string. Um, and there's the explanation of what they do here. And then with this code, what we're actually gonna do is we're, the first part here is to save the actual file itself. If you create a new document, then certain things need to happen. Like we need to save it to a folder, we need to give it a file name and things like that, okay? And this essentially prompts you for that initial information. And what actually happens here, it just, it looks for the file path um, and if, it says if the file path doesn't exist, that basically means that the file hasn't been saved. Okay, so it's a new document. And then if there is no title in the document, then we need to run this. And this is, this is basically what's going to happen. Now, if I just save my book of proof, let me run through this quickly here and show you. I'm going to step through by pressing the F8 key, or we can do step into here. Okay, now I'm going to press F8 and then this is going to run and what it'll do is it goes straight through these variables because the variables have been declared and then it's looking at the active path and now because i actually have when i mouse over the active path because i've already saved this book it picks up the path so it's basically saying if this path is does not exist and there isn't a title then run this code however because there is a path and there is a title, it's going to ignore this next bit. And then what it's going to do is it's going to say, right, if there's no path, but there is a title, it's not equal to null. This, this is what this means. So it's not, it's not as, as a null value. Then show the save as. However, we do have a document path and we do have a document title. So it's going to ignore this as well. Okay. Now we're checking to see if there is a title exists because we can actually bypass this if we want to. Um, the code here is not going to cover every eventuality, okay? But it's at, as I showed you, for the common scenarios, it's very, very good. So when I press F8 again, it's going to say, look, is there a title value? And if there isn't one, that's what this means here, then run this. But it's not. It's, it, this is incorrect because there is a value. So it ignores it. Then we're asking a question, if there is, if there is not a title value, which basically means you've just pressed no, then enter a message, just show a message box saying no title ended. Okay, I'll show you in the next video how this all works with a, with a blank document. And then, then we run through and now we get the file path, which we know is that, and we get the file title, which we know we've already got the file title, book of proof, now what I want is to get the new date and time in this format, okay? And now we've got all the information that we need. We've got the file path, we have the file title, and we have the date and time. We assign it to this variable here called full string. We don't have to do this. It just makes it easy for you to follow because we then plug full string in here, okay? And then all we do now is we save the document. And if you look, we've got 1245. When I go when I pass this next step, 
It's going to save with 51. And then end sub, and there we go. And that's my new document title. I want to come back here. You see it's not there because it's in the one. This is my dump folder. And there's my, my file there. Okay. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how this all works slowly on a blank document so you can follow along step by step, okay?